Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the mic's somewhat sensitive, but it still picks up a lot of ambient noise. Okay. So basically, just make sure to project, and if we do talk, uh, talk at like an angle or at the camera, yeah. or uh, like you can look at me, but. Yeah, yeah, you can. I, I worked in radio for five years. <laughs> okay, so you know to be loud. Yeah. We well, just got to make sure that you speak up. <laughs> Don't worry about okay. that. <clears throat> okay, we're rolling. All right. So, anyhow, uh, my name is Byrne, and today I'm joined by Valkron, and is it Tej? Uh, yeah, Pirate Dash as well. Pirate Dash? All right. Because people know her more than me, so. Mm -hmm. You two happen to be the awesome two running this lovely table. We have a table in the background here. Yeah. And we're here at Brony Contest 14. And I, Valkyrie and I talked to you at Everfree Northwest, mm -hmm. and we wanted to do something there, but we couldn't, so I'm glad that we could get to talk to you here. I'm yeah, definitely, definitely a big fan of <laughs> so it's, And I really appreciate the commission, too, like the Luna mm -hmm. DVD commission. It's awesome. It's my pleasure. It's very fun to work with. Yeah? You, have, you having fun here? You guys enjoying the fun, the working the craziness, the horses? Yeah? Very good. Good time? Oh, yeah. You have fun? Yeah. Uh, doing good in sales so far. Uh, also played in the regional for the card tournament. Oh, I got did pretty good, but mm -hmm. nice. I knew I wasn't going to win, so as long as I had fun, and I did. So you guys got any other plans, or is it basically just sit here and bed? Um, pretty much that. Probably go to a couple more panels. Um, I'm running the Tumblr Pond panel tonight, uh, so I'll be doing that. Nice. Yeah, I'll be here all day vendoring. Mm -hmm. I might meet up with some people afterwards, I'm not really sure. You had uh, some metallic prints, right? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Are those completely sold out? Or? I don't have them at this on display. Uh, you guys caught me before we finished setting up. Hey, go describe it. Um, well, see, about a month ago, right after Everfree Northwest, I ordered a sampler pack. I print all my own stuff uh, anymore. And one of the pages, the samples, was this metallic paper, and I printed it. And it looked like the way I described it was old holographic Pokemon cards. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do something with this. And I was like, what do I do? And I was like, I have to draw Optimus Prime. I drew up from Prime, so I drew up from Prime. I don't have the picture out, sadly. Um, and it's it's the coolest effect. Whenever you lift it up, it it looks like it's holographic, like it's 3D, and uh, it's a really really neat effect. Um, and that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> that's awesome. That's okay. No, I remember when we stopped by, we were like, it was almost like this bright big mirror that had uh, Optimus Prime. There's more ponies or a pony on it. Uh, Luna and Celestia. Luna and Celestia, both mm -hmm. an Optimus Prime. Very fitting. Very fitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good. And you had, uh, I think you had some cards as well. Uh, yes, uh, yeah. they sold out. Oh, those sold out. Uh, yes. um, they were gone uh, an hour before the convention closed. They were the collectible card game, right? You had printed your own little card. Mm -hmm. uh, Nightmare Moon. Uh, this art here uh, turned into a collectible card. No, they they're How about you, sir? Uh, what do you want to know? Mm -hmm. I want to know, because I, d I don't think I've ever heard of Pirate Dash. No, uh, Pirate Dash is the ask blog that I run. Um, been running for about over two and a half years now. Um, and she, she's really the only reason I've known someone in the fandom. So, uh, well, it's cool to see you. I think you definitely have some cute stuff. Thank you. Um, I honestly didn't think I'd ever get to the point where I'd be making art like this and selling it at conventions. Because my DA page didn't get that many followers. I didn't really get many followers anywhere else. But when I opened up Pirate Dash, that's when things started to just take off and explode. And I wanted to go a little further with it and try to put more effort into it. So, I got a two-part question for you. Yeah. How long have you been making art? And did My Little Pony make you start making it? Um, that's a good question. I've kind of been doing it on and off for about the past 11 years or so. And I'm really just fan art. Like, yeah. I don't want to make this a career or anything like that. It's just a fun hobby for right now. Um, I started off in about 2003, or let me back that up. I took an art class senior year of high school, and I had a really fun art teacher. It made me want to do art a little bit more. And I took a class in college. And it was right about that time I was getting into the Fairly Odd Parents. And that was the first fandom I got into. And it was the first fan art that I really drew. Um, so I took a break from it as I got my degree and got a job in radio. And it was the uh, summer of 2011 when Equestria Daily had their first artist training ground event. And I just thought to myself, well, why not? I'll give it a shot, see what happens. And from there, was it just ponies? Yeah, it's just ponies, pretty much. Um, and 
that that's the start. Of that's how it happens. It's the same way for us too. But she was, was it you to like? Yeah. Were you always really incorporated with art, and then it was like ponies, and then ponies from there? Pretty much. Um, I've been drawing ever since I knew how to pick up a pencil, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I hit this block whenever I entered college. And it was, I, I, I blame the art teacher, kind of, for my art block. She was just really draining, uh, exact opposite of what TJ had in high school. Uh, just, just really demotivated me. And that's when ponies hit me. And I, I watched a few of the episodes, I drew some art, and I was like, a thousand ideas hit my head, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And the last three years now, it's been ponies. See, I had a laid-back art teacher that was pretty much a hippie. So that's why everyone loved her and everyone wanted to do it. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoy BronyCon. I appreciate you doing this little thing to me. It's great to meet you in person. I would love to get you on the show at some point. Mm -hmm. That more about your art. The <laughs> Things like that. And also, Pirate Dead. Nice to meet you. Yeah, too. Mm -hmm. And Doritos, always a pleasure. Doritos. <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>